everybody today we are just starting the sixth sem in this sem i am dealing with the electrochemistry 2 in physical chemistry paper so in this chapter we are discussing the electrochemical cell electrochemical cell means the electricity is produced as a result of some of the spontaneous redox reaction and this type of the cell is known as galvanic cell or the voltaic cell now we are moving into the representation of a galvanic cell and what is the chemical reaction taking place in the galvanic cell see here in the galvanic cell in every cells we have two electrode and these electrodes are known as the half cells in galvanic cell we can see that a one electron is the sink and the zinc rod is dipped in the aqueous solution of the zinc sulfate solution and the other electrode is the copper electrode and the copper electrode is dipped in copper sulfate solution we know that the cell is made up of two half cells so only by clubbing these two half cells the cell can work so in every cell the one electrode is acting as an anode and the other electrode is acting as a cathode. See here in the zinc electrode which is acting as an anode and the copper electrode which is acting as a cathode. And you know that anode in the anode oxidation will take place and in the cathode reduction will take place. This is coming from the electrochemical series that we discuss later. So in the galvanic cell, the zinc rod is dipped in zinc sulfate solution and which is acting as an anode. And the next electrode is the copper rod dipped, is, dipped in aqueous solution of the copper sulfate solution that is a cathode. And these two electrodes are connected externally by external wire and it is connected through a galva, uh, voltmeter by measuring the voltage and similarly these two beakers are connected by a salt bridge salt bridge means the aqueous solution of the kcl is filled in agar agar medium and which is filled in a u tube glass tube which is connecting the two glass elect which is connecting the two beakers so this is the simple representation of the galvanic cell now how we will represent this galvanic cell in terms of electrochemistry so for that i already mentioned that for every cell there are two half cell so the single half cell is represented uh, in a general equation as metal slash its salt solution so here if you are considering the zinc electrode zinc slash Zn2 plus and if you are considering the copper half cell uh, for representing the copper uh, half cell electrode copper slash Cu2 plus but if you are representing a cell we have we know that the cell consisting of a two half cell one is anode and the other is the cathode 